Coming up on McNeil Today, we'll tell you the results of a recent competition. Plus, we've got your lunch and weather. McNeil Today begins right now. From the McNeil Broadcasting Company, this is McNeil Today. Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel. And I'm Cameron. There will be a student council meeting today after school in Mrs. Nick's room, B101. If you're interested in participating in the first annual middle school Texas Citizen B, there will be a meeting today at 3.10 p.m. in Coach Penny's room, C105B. Don't forget that the PAC day is tomorrow afternoon. Students will receive a letter fourth period telling them whether they are eligible to attend. They will need the letter to exit their classroom and enter the gym. PAC day will start during six periods. Students will be able to play basketball or other games the teachers determine. They will also be able to sit and visit, listen to music, or play games on their phones or card games if they bring them. Students in PAC day will remain in the gym until the end of the day. The concession stand will be open tomorrow after school as well as during PAC day. Snacks, candy, and drinks will be on sale for $1 each in the media center. If you're interested in trying out to be on the rider dance team or to be a rider cheerleader, there are mandatory meetings March 22nd in the rider library. The cheerleading, cheerleader meeting will be at 6 p.m. and the dance team meeting will be at 7.15 p.m. You may pick up packets here at McNeil in Office D. The McNeil tennis teams competed in the city double championship this week. In the boys doubles, the team of Connor Rios and Anthony Rainbolt made it into the rounds of 16. Carla Rines and James Rainbolt, as well as Jesse Land and Kofi Ajapon made it into the quarterfinals. Gavin Glaugy and Zane McFarland played in the semifinals. In the girls' doubles, the team of Katie Kuhner and Mallory Dickey made it into the round of 16. Mallory Dickey and Tori Montalano, as well as Elizabeth Wise Kircher and Janet and Lilia played in the quarterfinals. The team of Julia Chan and Presley Smith made it to the finals and won first place. It's time for your weather. Here's Cameron with your weather. Thanks, guys. Currently, it's sunny and 56 degrees. Winds are out of the north this morning at 10 miles per hour. Let's take a look at your forecast. Today, windy with a 40% chance of rain this afternoon and a high near 70. Tonight, cloudy with a 70% chance of rain and a low around 51. Friday, rain throughout the day with a high of 59. Friday night, continued rain into the night with a low near 51. Saturday, 50% chance of rain with a high near of 70. That's a look at your weather. Back to you guys. Here's what is being served in the main line of the cafeteria. Chicken and rice, corn dog, broccoli, carrot coins, and fruity gelatin. Looking ahead, tomorrow will be nachos or a chicken sandwich. We do need your news and events. If you have any information for NBC Today, here are two easy ways to get it to us. You can email it to us at cmjohnson at wfisd.net or drop it off to us here in room D138. Remember that we do need your information by 5 p.m. the day before to ensure it'll make the show. That's all we have for today. Go out and make it a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.